Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest .blogspot.com. and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute and easy peasy double gift card holders. Now these are little folders and they're so sweet and they're really fun to make. Now I did not come up with this idea with the little um, folders. There's been many, many, many scrapbookers making these little folders and they have a ton of tutorials on the internet. So I just want to let you know. Now I'm, I did um, turn these into double gift card holders, which is really nice because if you want to give um, the entire card, including this cardboard, you can. I know a lot of times when I go to buy gift cards and I have a gift card holder, I discover that if these are too large to put in there or a little bit of it hangs out and um, I end up having to, you know, peel the the card off and then just throw away this part. And I really dislike doing that because sometimes there's a lot of good information on the back that um, your receiver might need. And so with these, these fit beautifully in here, um, card and all. And I think you'll really enjoy it. So um, I made this one up as a Mother's Day double gift card holder and this one here as a Christmas one with a little reindeer. So I'll tell you more about this um, as we go along so stay tuned. I really think you're going to enjoy this and they're a lot of fun like I said to put together. You could even do it during the summertime and have all this all ready and just have to pull one out when you need it and that's that. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how I did everything. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a nice piece of uh, paper with some weight to it, and um, you're going to cut this with your paper cutter at 9 inches by 8.5 inches. Okay, so go ahead and do that first. Okay, so I have a small scoreboard. Um, I need to buy a larger one, so I'm just going to have to make do on the small one for now. So with the 9 inch side across, laying straight across like this, okay, you're going to come in at 4 and a half inches, alright? So that's 4 and 4 and a half right here. And you're going to take your stylus or your um, little scoring knife and score it all the way down. Okay. All right. Okay, so we scored this right here. So now we're going to turn this over to the eight and a half inch side. So the eight and a half inch side is um, lying across this way. Okay, and you're going to score at the two and a half inch mark. Okay, make sure it's nice and straight here. Here's two and two and a half right up here. Okay, so we're going to score that all the way down. All the way down. Okay, so now we have what looks like this. You can see the score mark across here and then straight down here like that. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and we're going to take this and we're going to fold this first right here on the score line. Right. And if you don't have a scoring knife, that's fine. You can use the um, back of a butter knife or the uh, rubber handle part of the scissors, anything that you can use to make this nice and flat, okay? Alright, so now as you can see it looks like a very tall card, but we're going to open this up and you can see the scoring marks right here, okay? I'm going to do this, fold it upwards like that.
it like that. Okay. Now you're going to unfold it again. And right here, you're going to make a very narrow um, triangular cut that goes and stops right there, like this, on both sides. And I'm going to be using my long blade scissors. And I know that this isn't 100% perfect, but I'm doing this to have fun and not to be perfect. <laughs> okay, so we have what looks like that. Okay, and the triangle looks like that. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're only going to glue the side here and the side here. And we're going to use the Fabri-Tac glue by Beacon to do that. Okay. So let me open this glue bottle. I'm getting towards the end of this particular glue bottle. So um, I did buy another one. And I should be opening that up soon. But let me... This glue is going to drain to the bottom here. Okay. And one thing I love about this particular project is that you can decorate this in so many different ways. So many different papers. This dries fairly quickly too, this glue does, which is nice. If you want to, you can put uh, a clip here and a clip here, but you don't have to. I'm not going to do it because I'm using this Fabri-Tac, and like I said, it's it sticks pretty much within seconds on contact. All right, so now I'm going to make sure that this is a hundred percent dry before I put any type of gift cards or anything like that in. Now, um, if you need to, you can go back in and if you see a little bit of white here, like like this is, like that, you can go back in and take your paper cutter or just shear it off with, with your scissors. This wouldn't take much, that's for sure. Okay, that looks good enough. Well, maybe a little more. I don't want to mess around with it too much because what ends up happening is you'll make a mess of things. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So we're going to allow this to dry and then we'll be back. Okay. So this is dried on the sides and I'm going to take my little corner puncher here and round off the corners. I've had this for so long. It's a little thick to try to get through. I forgot that I had folded this down here. Okay, here we go. See the corners are nice and rounded. Okay, so I purchased this beautiful little image from a gal on Etsy, and she goes by the name of Creative Bell, and it's spelled C-R-E-A-T-I-F-B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and it's all one word, and I'll make sure to put her link on my uh, blog, so when you click on this project, when you go to my blog, uh, you can see her store and just click on it from there. Now, um, I'll also show you how I printed this out. You don't need any special printer or, or anything like that. Um, and I have an inkjet printer, so I just use this and printed it out on the Walgreens Premium Photo Paper. And it's instant dry. I really, really love this paper. 
and this is a three and a half by five inch um, print. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to round off the corners of this print just like I did my card here. And I did, after this was printed out, and I allowed it to dry, even though it says instant dry, I still allow it to dry uh, for about 20 minutes or so. And I took my cheap bottle of Aquanet hairspray in the extra hold and um, just gave it a real quick spray like this, about 12 inches away from this, and then I allowed it to dry thoroughly for at least a couple of hours before I handled this. And I put the hairspray on it because it really does help to um, retain the color so no color will rub off and you won't get any of these fingerprints, you know, on this or anything like that. Now, if you don't have the, um, if you don't have a way to print anything out and you don't have a printer, um, you can still do a lot of fun things. For example, um, I'll be right back, I'll show you. These are Christmas cards that I picked up last year and the year before that. They have the same design. And you can get a whole package of these at the Dollar Tree. These are 14 cards these were for a dollar. And, you know, you can cut this out and place it here instead of this. Um, you can also use cards without maybe a frame, like that particular one. Here's an example. May the peace of the season be yours. And there was 14 cards in this. You could cut this out into a little card and round off the corners. And you even have your little sentiment here if you want to cut that out and add to it. And, um, you know, Dollar Tree had some pretty nice cards for a dollar a box. And to me, it's worth paying that dollar, you know, to be able to have a lot of images and sentiments to use. And, of course, don't forget about the sentiments on the inside, too. You can always cut those out and make them real pretty. So, um, with that said, we'll go ahead and glue this on with the Fabri-Tac glue. And I'm just going to put a little bit around the edges here. And tie it up in the middle. Okay. It's best um, when you go to put this on if you're actually standing up because you have a better perspective of exactly where you need to place this card. Okay. And then you can set it down. And so this is what we have so far. Okay. And you can make a lot of these little folders up ahead of time and the prints too and just put them all together and then when it gets closer to the season you'll have um, your little folders made made up you'll have your little prints you can just kind of mix and match and um, you can even do your little your little charms up ahead of time too like that okay now um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to find the center here okay and so I'm going to measure it and of course this is um, now that we cut it now it's and we folded it it's only six inches long so you're going to make a little dot right here at the three inch mark okay so let me do that right here hold on for just a second Okay, all right, so I put a little dot right here, the three inch mark. You're gonna take your hole puncher, all right? And you wanna punch the hole not too close to the edge, but you don't want it real far away either. You just want enough where it's not gonna 
break on you, okay? Now, <clears throat> I used, of course, my little um, eyelet setter here. Now, I have to tell you though, I'm not very happy with this setter. Um, this is the Pittsburgh brand, so if you run across it, don't buy that brand, okay? I'll be looking on Amazon for another little eyelet setter, and um, I'll be using that because I really have to strain with all my might, you know, to get this set in there properly. So if you don't have an eyelet setter, don't worry about it, because what you can do is you can buy a little package of the um, little uh, reinforcements that you can peel and stick onto this hole. You can use your Sharpie marker and color um, that uh, little reinforcement any color you want. And you can put a reinforcement here and a reinforcement here and then again here and here. Okay, and that will work out just fine, and it will help. Um, it'll help keep this nice and sturdy. Okay, so that's just in case you don't have an eyelet setter. So I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelets in here, and I'm doing it off camera because, like I said, um, I really have to kind of work with <laughs> with this. Um, but I am going to read the reviews on Amazon and, and see if I can come up with something different that does the same thing. Okay. So hold on. Okay, so as you can see, I put a couple of gift cards in here, and it fits very nicely. And if you'd like, you can also maybe put a little sentiment card in there. I like to purchase um, these little playing card type of uh, prints and print them out, and then glue them with Fabri-Tac onto a 110-pound cardstock. And you can write a little sentiment on the plain back part. Now I'm using this uh, to show you, but um, this is a little sentiment my grandson made for his mom for Mother's Day. This is just an example. So you can just slide it in there on top of the gift card. You can put a flat Ghirardelli square, a chocolate square in here. Um, you can put a bookmark, anything you'd like. Okay, so um, what I did was I used some of this narrow ribbon with a silver lining that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. They have this in this light blue as well as lavender and also in a pink color. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this little bead dangle that I showed you how to make a couple of videos back. Okay. Actually let me slide this in here first and then I'll put the bead dangle on. And what I did was I cut about 12 inches of that ribbon, and I'm just going to tie it in a regular little bow. I'm not going to pull tight at all, because you want the person to be able to open it, uh, the person you give it to. Okay, so not real tight. Okay, okay. and it turned out really cute. And so um, you can also add some teeny tiny rhinestones if you'd like. I got these at the 99 cent store. They're very small, they're about 4 millimeter. And if you can't find them at the 99 cent store, you can always find them at places like Michael's. You know, um, I'm going to pull a strand off and I'm just going to use these just here and there like in the centers of the flowers and maybe in the center of these roses like that. Don't want to overdo it. You see, then you've got a little bit of a, a sparkle in the front of the card there. Right? 
So you may want to do that, or you may just want to leave it completely alone. Okay, now this particular one, I went a little more crazy on this. Let me pull my um, lamp a little closer. I didn't realize it was so far away. Okay, yeah, now you can kind of see where it sparkles. Like that. Okay. Now I can show you this. Yeah, so now you can kind of see the sparkles. Okay, so um, I will show you how to print this out if you're curious. You don't need any kind of special photo editor or anything like that. It's very easy. So when I sign off, if you're interested in that, just um, stay tuned and I'll show you um, right after I sign off um, how to do this, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate this. Um, or I appreciate you, not this. <laughs> and um, I hope you give this a try. And maybe you can make some up ahead of time and have these all ready for Christmas. So all you have to do is just grab this and you're all set to go. So you take care and God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Okay, if the camera's kind of shaky, it's because I have to hold it with one hand. But you're going to open up your image right here. And at the very top, you can see where it says um, File, Print, Email, Burn, Open. You're going to click on Print. And once you do that, a little box is going to open up. And you're going to click Print again. Okay, so now you have this. And you have a choice of full page photo, 4x6, 5x7, um, eight by ten, three and a half by five and a half. I like the three and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to click on that, but I want more than one picture. I want four. So right here where it says copies of each picture, you're going to keep clicking until you hit four. Four. Now watch. See? Popped up. And right here there's a little check mark that says fit picture to frame. You can do that, or you can uncheck it and have them a little smaller, whichever you would like. I believed I unchecked this one, and um, then I printed it out. And right over here where it says paper type, you can use photo paper best quality, but I just use specialty paper best quality, and I print it out on photo paper. So it might save you a little more ink, and at the same time your images come out really vibrant as you can as you could tell by my um, tutorial that I just showed you. So then you just go right down here and click on print and that's it. So real easy, easy peasy. So you take care and thank you so much for watching my video. God bless. Bye bye.